good. Really contract the neck. Squeeze out the contract. Six. Come on. Traveling. Seven. Come on. Good. Swam. Four more. Come on. Almost similar to what you did over there. The difference. Uh, I'm feeling like what you just did you just feel more and more now. Uh, I'm feeling from last week, right? Even from last week. But last week was better than it was ever been. But this is better last week. To attain anything in life, anything, whether you're going to law school or you're doing aiming to be a pro, you're going to have a level of discomfort and somewhat of a level of what people may call suffering, you know, to some extent. Um, and it's just how are you? How do you rationalize, rationalize that? Because suffering can mean like severe suffering. That's not something that is um, that I want to embrace as uh, empowering a positive getting ready for a conscious because why would you want to suffer in that aspect? Well then you know maybe you'll be low energy, maybe you're not cut back in your calories a bit, maybe cardio will be you know intense and treat, but never suffering because it's something you want to do. People right. don't you know people right. don't choose to uh, have a good life. Let me choose to suffer. <laughs> you know? Like no I mean, go and fix some pain. So myself. when you say suffer you're automatically putting something negative. Right, right, right. Okay, I'm gonna embrace the suffering to get the this positive thing. No. Put the work in, man. It's work that you're willing to do. Right. Yeah, you're not always comfortable necessarily doesn't feel great while you're doing it, but you know you're doing it in the name of being the best. And for that reason, mm -hmm. you might not like it while you're doing it, but as a whole, you like it. And you better learn to love it because you know that it's helping you. Absolutely. So yes. You don't want you don't you don't really want to do it, but you really really want to do it. Right. No, no, no it's true. It, it's it's your perspective and the attitude that you have towards it that is going to allow you to look at whatever you're doing um, and in, in a positive way. So you right. can, so you can understand it more. You know some some type of um, uh, I guess not some type of hard work, but um, you know. You're not going to get to spend a lot of time with your family. Not, you know, it's it's like a boxer who goes away for like ten or twelve weeks in a boxing camp, and they're and they're and they're doing drills and they're running and they're sparring and they do, you know, is are they suffering? No, they're training. They're preparing for something. You know, right. and, and and you know they're sacrificing. They're doing without. They're whatever. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. Suffering is uh, it's, it's different. <laughs> Yeah, people don't like to truly suffer. You know? Right. And, and right. Um, I don't think that you know, when people call this, well, I'm suffering, I'm suffering. Um, then, you know, why do you have to complain about it? Right. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, you chose to do it. You want to do it, right? Right. right. This is what it takes to do it. So. And, so, and that's and that's what you had, and that's what you brought in in '09. You had the mindset where um, every training session, every it wasn't like we had a training session. And it was, mm, because if you can have a better training session by yourself and here with me, there's no reason to be Exactly. You know, really know what's going left the gym it was like man it was you know there's no way I could have done that on my own that's you know, the idea when, you, when you're doing cardio and your calories are like, depleted and you have low energy to really push that to bring that look 
um, it's, it's hard to do that by yourself on a consistent basis. Yeah, I mean, people can train hard, but I mean, if you look back at anybody, you know, any great champion, they always had at least somebody there. Because I mean, it, you'd be arrogant. I, I would be arrogant to say, you know, to, to or to believe that someone who's a good coach or a good training partner or whatever couldn't get more help me get more out of myself than I could by on my own. Right. You know what I mean? That's just. Yeah, it's true. I mean, that's like saying no. Someone can't help me. I'm 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 already doing so good. You could you know that's not. But you even know. the best the best athletes like in the world in any sport you look at uh, you look at um somebody like like Tiger Woods who's excellent in golf. He also has a coach. He's got a coach. You know, coach is having someone that brings out the best in you. And it wasn't through it was you know I I always, I always knew that. And uh, my background is in nutrition, and um, also have this gym and other tra train athletes, but. When you email me, I think uh, September, October, and you give me a long email, I remember, you know, what aspects you said. <coughs> you said, you know, Oscar, there's a lot of good nutritionists, there's a lot of good trainers, but to find a good coach is someone that can bring out the best in you. That's a different story. And that's it's different because it combines everything in one, yeah. and also more, it's more um, time involved in that because it's very easy to dis disattach yourself from uh, an individual through a computer and just email a diet or a training program or or just go to the gym and have somebody train you and then you have to have somebody else do your diet or training as opposed to someone that's able to intertwine everything together in the terrain. And it's, it's, you know, that's why I don't do that with everyone because it's, it's the draining. Right, right, right. You know, um, so back in 09, you know, having that experience with you was positive for me, positive for you, but I got to know you, and I got to know that you are very self-resilient, uh, hard worker, and uh, d nothing, in the, the, nothing in there that I saw made me feel that this guy's not going to succeed. You know, it was just, he stays with this principle, this ideas, and I, I share with you some books mm -hmm. that allow you to open up your mind and see more of a possibility of what you could do as a mm -hmm. creator, as a dominant athlete, um, I knew that um, you were going to do well. Um, going forward, um, going to forward the way, the way I, I I saw it, I saw that you had um, all the potential in the world. Yep. I was always under the belief that one of the strongest components in any athlete is having a, not just a positive, but a severe, strong, dominant mindset. Like, you gotta be fucking King Kong. You have to, you have to be fucking <laughs> Godzilla. You gotta go there. You really have to, you have to believe that in yourself. Um, and when you don't have that, it's very easy to doubt. And doubt causes fear. And fear causes you not to be at your best. Mm -hmm. You know, and then fear, you know, just it undermines what you're doing. And um, so for me, it was important to place that in everyone that I coach. And um, you were very um, coachable as far as opening your mind to that and understanding that that's an important part of the aspect of, you know, being in your best shape and, re and representing yourself. It wasn't just the physical mechanics of just doing the movement right. and going through the motions, but believing and knowing that it's going to lead to something that you can, that, that God did not gift this other individual with winning more attributes than you. 
that you know you also have your own gifts and attributes. You can have that, you know, if you are willing to go through what you have to go through, whether it's self, whether increasing your self belief, increasing your calories, whatever it is, <laughs> training hard to to attain that. And um, in, in 09, I, I after I finished the New York Pro, it was a good experience in a lot of ways. But one of the good ex experience for me was always taking someone such as yourself and depositing uh, seeds of success, of knowledge, of self-awareness, of telling you, you know, the best coach is your body, you know, listen to your body's feedback, be instinctive, uh, don't rely on anyone else as opposed to making decisions for yourself at times that you need to make them. You know, it's like, I have given a simple example, you know, when, you, when your blood is full, what do you do? You get up and pee, use it to your body, you know? so basic you know but sometimes people make basic things so complex true especially in body bones, a lot of um, ignorance you know and, and things take time and uh, you know whether it's burning body fat or building muscle it takes time you have to have a, a reasonable time to 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 do things you know and um, I, mean, I, think I, I remember giving you an example of that time if you um if you look at a plant and uh, mm. you put a plant by the window to get sun no matter how much water, sunlight, it's going to grow at its own rate. Right. You can't, you can't put any more water for it to grow. You can't, you know, so sometimes that philosophy gets lost in sport is people end up doing things that are detrimental to their health. More and more and more and more. Yeah, either, and it's not always the best, and they don't always have the longest, healthiest careers. Right. Um, but the one thing I'm going to leave on online is, is this. During our prep and after our prep, it was a fulfilling feeling for me um, as your coach back then to know that I am not the person that is always going to want to feel 
the need to always be that person that eventually I want the, co the, the person, the athlete that I'm coaching to be, in, to be well enough, educated enough, mature enough, wise enough to make those decisions and you were able to use everything we learned in 09 to go to the 2011 and win your first show uh, on your own right. using a lot of the things that you learned from me and, right. and previous coaches but you were able to listen to your body it was all strong in my mind it was all fresh in my mind yeah. you know and then it, you know and then it's like man things happen you know over time things start to you know they they fade away and i probably could have used a refresher yeah. sooner <laughs> yeah. but here we are you know what if you never if you never had a bad workout, I mean, how would you know what it is to have a good one? Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, from back from, from online to now, it's five years. And I think I told you many times when we trained, a few times early on, <coughs> a few months, a few weeks ago, um, it was disheartening watching sometimes you compete at shows and not display what I know could be the best version of yourself. Right. Now, I'm not here. Um, saying that to blame any one anything <clears throat> because ultimately we're responsible for our own success and, and failures no one has a gun to it mm -hmm. telling us to eat this or train like this you know, or don't take this or take too little of this too much of that it's ultimately up to us but the representation of what you displayed on stage was beneath what I always thought you could be right, yeah. and we went through a lot of the things yeah. that, that occurred then so um, you were always, always that person uh, and, and my wife asked me um, about you and um, she said um, I told her you know he's one of the few people in my life whether whether it's a friend or in the sport that um, I would easily give a shirt off my back for mm. you know and um, I remember when she invited you to my birthday yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and before she finished her sentence <laughs> or, or you know the date she said, oh, I'm there. You know, it's like, well, yeah, I don't tell you where, where, because I'm there, don't worry. It's like, you know, when you leave that impression in people, that they, it's like, wow, that's, it's humbling for me, and it means a lot to me, you know, because I aim to do, aim to treat people the way I want to be treated. So um, I always have a soft spot for you in that aspect, you know, as a human being.